so what this video is going to be is basically a look at the access passes. Everyone seems a little confused about when you get them, how many you can get at a time, uh, if they're going to run out by the time you get there. We're heading out there. Our, our reservation is for 10 o'clock. So we're going to head straight back to Maverick and be in line before you're going to need the access pass. So we won't actually need an access pass at first, but as soon as we get off, we're going to try to grab as many access passes as possible and we're going to document it on here so you can see exactly how long it takes, how many you can get, um, if they run out by a certain time. So 11 and 3.30 are the two times that they hand out the access passes. So hopefully this video is informational and hopefully we learn something and then you learn something from watching. Okay, so we got right in line. Um, we did hear something that we didn't hear before, but the uh, first 275 people get to ride. If you're early and you're one of the first 275 people in line to Maverick, Steel Vengeance, or Millennium, or Top Thrill once they open, then you will not need an access pass. In line for Maverick, I just wanted to point something out that the, the groups along here, along the back, were getting pretty tight. And it was good to see a worker came through and told everyone, hey, GP, move back. We just got off of Maverick, and now we're heading to get an access pass for Maverick. So we're going to, um, yeah, I don't know what time it is. It's probably quarter after 11, maybe 11.20. So the access, the access passes are literally right by the front gate for Maverick where you enter. So we're coming around, so we're gonna see how long the line is. And this is the access pass. You can see the sign that says access pass distribution. So It wraps around so you can see it wraps around kind of back by the train entrance we'll check in and let you know how long the line is for the uh, for the wait for the access pass all right we got our access passes for two to three and so what once they we started moving in line right so it only took us that long line only took us like three minutes to get through and here it is 11 like almost it's not even 11 30 and we're already at two to three so expect to have to wait for some of these rides so we made it over to millennium's access pass line so like like we just showed we're two to three for maverick with one maverick ride already and the line, the line is a bit, a little longer, but as we learned at Maverick, they move pretty fast. So we'll see if we're in the two to three. All right, we just got access passes for Millennium Force. Uh, the line, it looks long. The, these lines for the access pass look long, but they only take like, we waited probably two, three minutes for that. So it's really good, they move fast. All you do is just say how many people are in your group. They give you a time. We got a time for one to two. And I really like the system so far. Okay, so it's about, 10 to 1 and we're in line for our one o'clock and there's a little line but not subscribe to moose coasters but it's not it's not too long um we met up with coaster legend here they got they got their tickets they just happened to get the same time as us so we're um we're all waiting and we're hoping it goes by pretty fast yeah they don't 
they will let you in in, in like one minute early. It's 12.55, we're at one, and they said, get back in line. What's that? They said, they don't let you in early. It's, you know, it's 12.55, we are set for one, and they won't let you in. You gotta wait till exactly one o'clock. It's kind of a bummer. And there's no line. Yeah, there's no line. Like, I, if you've ever ridden Millennium Force before, which most of you probably have, there's, there's a little uh, walk up and there's no line on the little ramp. So we'll be, we'll be on the ramp as soon as we walk in. So we're one o'clock and we're about to get in. And so, so far the access passes are working out pretty well because we went and we're able to walk around and relax and get on a, well, we tried to get on mine ride, but it closed down because of the non-existent weather. But either way, we get off the ride, we can't get back on because they're not selling them again until 3.30. We're going, moving. So you can't re-ride like you would on a slow day like today. To so our experience with um, Millennium, we rode it a little bit ago. We rode it a little bit ago um, with the access pass. And when we walked on, we probably got, um, we got onto the ramp. And how, how long do you think it took? We probably waited like five minutes. This is probably the greatest thing ever. They should keep it even after the coronavirus because you don't you don't have to wait. You could just go ride other stuff while you're technically waiting in line. And then whenever you're ready, you just walk right up and there's usually like a five minute wait. So it's basically just like waiting five minutes for Millennium or like steel or like Maverick, just a roller coaster, any roller coaster, just like waiting like five, 10 minutes for. So I think it's amazing. Yeah, so we're having a good experience. So if you come and get an access pass, so what we're finding is access pass lines go by very quickly. Um, if you get here early, you can get any access pass that you want. I think that about wraps up. I hope this really uh, helps out anyone that was curious about how the access passes worked. Make sure to subscribe to Moose Coasters, link in the description below, thank you. All right, and like, subscribe, share, and we will see you next time.